You clicked this video because you knew you was like, as soon as you seen the title, you seen the thumbnail, you was like, it's finally here. Yeah, you right. <laughs> All right. Hey, what's up? As y'all remember, I don't, I'm finally about to film this video. The long-awaited, beginner-friendly, how to melt your lace. In sky, boss, I can see it, yeah. The wig is a banger. The wig is a banger. I didn't even try it on yet, y'all. But just by the looks of it, it's currently 9-16, Monday, February 1st. Happy Black History Month. We starting it off right. <laughs> Make sure you go shop to wear the brand. Yo, I got this sweat on. You know the felt leathering, you know that good, that good, good, right? Right? I'm gonna take y'all from step one all the way to step whatever. It's kind of a, it's not a long process. It's not that easy of a process if you don't know what you're doing. I will be kind of walking myself through it as well because I haven't did a wig in like. Y'all, I was gonna save this one, but I'm not even gonna count this one. This wig was trash. This wig was only like $20, and it was only a closure wig. But I'll talk about the differences later in the video. This, I mean, I can't really say this one, but I guess you can say this is the last wig that I like put in good effort to, and this is right before I got corona. That was November 18th, literally two days before I went into quarantine. That's so disappointing. But the wig before that was my gray hair and that boy. <laughs> What lace? Enough lollygagging. I feel like I am. Ooh. No, for real. I feel like I'm just kind of lollygagging right now. Giving is dropping on February 4th. Uh oh. No, he's dropping the acoustic version. I'm about to gather all my products. Most of my products are already in my bathroom, but um, it's some like products that I'll be needing. Okay, y'all. We're in the beloved bathroom. Just set up. Oop, the camera kind of crooked. All right, y'all. So before I get into actual application, I'm gonna show y'all some products that y'all need to have in order to properly lay a wig. We're gonna go in order of appearance. You need a wig hat. These are literally like one dollar from the beauty supply. If you are like a darker skin tone, as mine, um, I know some people are like, oh, I like to use dark brown wig caps, but personally, I don't like doing that. Your scalp is lighter than your face. It just doesn't make sense. So I like to use this one and then just like put a little bit of makeup on it. Y'all will see it in a minute. Good hair scissors. You're gonna need some type of makeup that matches your skin color of some sort. I definitely recommend you use powder. You use liquid, like foundation or liquid, whatever. It's more prone to seep in or like when you put the glues, it can like melt away and then it'll just ruin the whole process. So let's not freeze spray. Now, a lot of people use got to be good for spray i use this also but while i was in quarantine a couple months ago i bought this melting spray from the wig dealer wig brand or wig company or something like that i don't know black owned so i was like i'll try the spray this is basically just like got to be glue spray for my beginners i definitely recommend using this because this was like 16 dollars okay and this is only like eight dollars so good night now I'm not going to sleep. You first start wearing your wig, you can lay down your lace with this and it'll stick for a couple days, like it won't move. But honestly, I just recommend going ahead and getting that ghost bond, spending that $20 on this little tiny box because at the end of the day, it will be worth it. Some little rat tail combs, a little makeup brush. Oh, you also need a blow dryer. And obviously you need a wig. You got this off Amazon. I'm so easy, y'all don't understand. You have to make it all this noise. You need a wig brush also, because when you get your wig out of the pack, either you wash it or brush it out thoroughly. Like this is synthetic, so I'm not gonna wash it because I have no time for that. Real quick, before we get into it, I'm gonna talk about the different types of like wigs. 13 by six wig. 13 by six means it's like six, girl, I don't even know. It's supposed to be a tutorial, an informational video. <laughs> I don't even know for real, but I just know 13 by 6 mean that it got a lot of parting space. It's like you could do a side part, middle part, whatever. And then also parting space on the sides too, so you can have your little sideburns, which is I love. I love 13 by 6 wigs. Now you can also get 4 by 4, and 4 by 4 wigs are like it only has a middle part and like a little pack, like a little piece of lace right here. Y'all just gonna have to Google it if you want a more in depth reasoning behind it all because i don't know oh also you need some clips i just got them attached to my crew neck though i forgot to tell y'all this but y'all need like some type of 
wrap of some sort. It's, I forgot what it's called, but it is something you get the beauty supply and you just like, it's like paper, but it's like a wrap for your hair. Or just like a little cut headband. It really doesn't really matter. the braids in the back and a little ponytail if i get up close y'all can see like all my edges are like out and you don't want that yo this is why i don't do tutorials because i'll be forgetting steps and then we just be winging it get your edge brush get some just get some natural hair gel not no edge booster none of that put a little dab on the edges and just brush them towards the braids slide on a wig cap and you only need one once you have a wig cap on, bring it as far down as possible. Some people be putting it over their eyes, but I just don't think it's that serious. We can try something new, I guess. <laughs> Go ahead and get your got to be spread. Once you have it all spread out, you want to go ahead and blow dry until it's like hard and dry and it won't slip back. Okay, y'all, so it's all dry now. And now you want to go ahead and cut. I like to cut in the middle. Cut the ear tab though. If you're doing this, there is a very good chance that you're going to cut your skin. Um, it doesn't hurt as bad as it sounds, but you definitely know exactly what I'm talking about. If you do wigs or if you, um, or if you're gonna try, you're definitely gonna know exactly what I'm talking about, bro. Once you cut the main parts off, you wanna go through, cut any flappy parts off. And once you have it all like somewhat cut, you wanna grab your wig and just try it on to see like if you need to cut more of your, of your ball cap. Ooh. <laughs> This is about to be so cute. Definitely need to tighten it because my hand not that big. Like, you see right here how you can see all that. I mean, even though it's going to be colored with your foundation. I still like to have it like as clean as possible. After you have it all cut, you want to go ahead, go powder, whatever. And then you want to just start doing it across the hairline obviously you want it to match you as close as possible but like it's supposed to be your scalp so it doesn't have to match you that good i low-key forgot to tell y'all this but you also need alcohol and some q-tips because whenever you're applying wig glue and lace you don't want it to be anything on it at all you want it to be a completely clean surface because if not it could not stick and also another tip is when you're applying your ball cap do not put it right against your edge, your edges line. Like if y'all can see if y'all look closely, my edges are like right here. And then the ball cap is right there. If you need to go ahead and pull the straps and like strap them to each other right now. After you strap the straps in, you wanna go ahead and take the brush that you were using earlier. Brush some of that powder all along the hairline. It's kinda like similar to bleach and knot, quicker alternative. If I'm not bleaching the knots, I would really love doing this. What a thing um, Once it's on, oh, this is a banger. Obviously, you're not about to style it right now, but go ahead and part it the way you want to part it. Try to get your vision the way you want it right now. You want to start like measuring out how stuff is going to look. For example, if you want your ears to be out, you want to go ahead and start customizing this to like fit your ear. Sometimes you just got to play with it. I don't want to tell y'all to do anything too risky. I don't want y'all messing up y'all first wig or whatever. Usually when I have stuff like this, I just go ahead and literally just cut off any excess that I don't need. Careful not to cut anything important. Then boom, you basically have like comfortable ear tab, comfortable to like your face and your ears. Pretty much have the layout. You wanna go ahead and flip it back and this is where your glue come in. Are we squeezing today or are we not? I'm gonna say the littlest stuff be blocking this little glue hole. But anyways, you wanna go ahead and spit your glue out. Now a little goes a long way. And then you wanna take a comb, push, and back towards the wig cap but like spread it up blow dry you want to wait till it turns like clearish then go in with the second layer the second layer doesn't have to be so many dots just like sporadically now i do recommend only doing this when you want the wig to last a minute even though you can take it off whenever you want it'll just be a waste of glue if you do this and just take it off the next day once the majority of it is clear, you want to go ahead and take this. 
I like to start with like the middle go down each side after you do this I like to take a comb and just start combing everything within the glue and then blow drying it also alrighty so after that feels secure I'm gonna go ahead and cut the lace like that and then start just cutting it along as close as you can also y'all when y'all cutting the lace cut it into sections because it's definitely so it's just way easier and don't cut it in like such a straight line because if you cut it in a straight line it makes the lace way more apparent okay y'all i didn't explain what i'm just doing I just pulled some edge hairs out and i'm about to trim them but first, I'm going to go ahead and... You don't ever want your edges to be too long, but you don't want them to be too short either. I'm going to spray some mousse. Not spray, but you want to put some mousse on your edge brush. Get your edge and then brush it the way you want it. And always use mousse at first. Even if you do go back in and put some edge control, it's way easier to manipulate your edges. So once that's done, this is when you want to go in with your little wrap. Lay this. Go ahead and take your clips out and brush it out. Wait like 10, 15 minutes. Well, we are back. Many, many minutes later. I had to change an SD card and a battery this video. It's been a couple of minutes. I feel like it should be late enough. Oh, I forgot with these. They're so hard to untie. I can never untie these, y'all. Like, I literally always have to cut it. Okay, bro. Okay, y'all. Period. Okay, y'all will see in a second that I do have some more final touches to make to the wig. But I do just want to point out that not every wig will be this easy to do. Like, um, a lot of wigs I've had in the past use, like, a lot of customizing. For example, I'm not even going to put the pictures on here. But if you want an example, I'll have this red and white wig that I got off Amazon. Literally, it looks so bad on the website. But then if you go to my Instagram, I made it look so good. But it took so much work. I promise y'all not every wig will just come this easy. I know there's definitely wigs you can order that are like pre-plugged in. This one was pre-plugged, so that was good. But usually, you know, you usually have to do like plucking and a lot of other stuff. But this is just very beginner friendly. But if y'all want a more in-depth tutorial, like when I have to actually dig deep and <laughs> do a whole bunch of woodwork, then let me know. This is pretty much a banger. Now, definitely want to do some last minute touch-ups. Usually I would use a hot comb. I don't feel like it because my high comb is actually a high comb, not electrical. Okay, so y'all, yeah, a little tip for the part. If you want your part to be a little bit more defined, you can go ahead and, first of all, split it to be a little bit more defined. A small brush, a light color, with in this case, it would be like a darker color, but usually it's like a lighter color, and you can go ahead and just like, Okay, y'all see what I mean? It makes it look way more realistic. One thing I will say before, if you do go buy this lace, it's definitely not a transparent lace. Oh, also, after you get done, get some more alcohol on a Q-tip. Just gently wipe around. Because when I tell you, especially if you do your wig right before you're about to leave the house, as I'm out, like as soon as the air hit my like head, it just... All these patches start popping up from like the glue and stuff. I'll be cutting like any random strands. Instead of pulling on them, just cut them because you never know who's connected to. This is a look. I haven't had color hair in so long. I can't wait to get my lashes done. By the time you're watching this video, my lashes and stuff will be done already, but they not done yet. I definitely like this. Oh, this wig had lace in the back. I didn't even peep. Also, y'all, if there's lace in the back, just cut it. Like, you literally cut it off, but I didn't even sew. I don't even get the point of that. Like, if it's not a full lace wig, full lace wig is the ones that you can put up as a point down. Like, if it's not a full lace wig, I don't understand why there's lace in the back because you can never be able to put it in a ponytail anyways. All right, you guys, it's currently 10.48. I'm so tired, bro. Like, I'm tired now. But if you enjoyed this video, 
be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and if you didn't like this video give it a thumbs down um if you learned something in this video then comment down below if you get this wig show me on instagram because it's actually not that bad i will catch you guys in my next video bye <laughs>